again, before we get any further, I uh, just want to let you know, I have a bunch of free instructionals uh, on my website, bjjbasics.com, under the short courses tab. Uh, we've got instructionals on escaping mount, uh, knee on belly attacks, where I uh, just put up our half guard, uh, attacking half guard series. Videos, uh, the instructionals range from like 20 minutes to up like 40 minutes. So they're all free. Please check them out, BJ, uh, bjjbasics.com. I'm Tate Jolich here, Real Pro BJJ and bjjbasics.com with my buddy Dan. And uh, today we're answering a question about uh, having ankle lock, losing it, person's getting on top. Uh, that's kind of all I had, so I'll go over a couple versions like IBJJF and non IBJJF style stuff. Uh, so here we go. However, we got there, we have the leg laced, we're stepping on the hip, uh, playing, trying to maybe go for an ankle lock. And it sounds like they're getting their ankles shoved down, but they're walking over and it's starting to come on top in the mount. Well, that's terrible, right? So instead of hanging on too long, we're just gonna accept when they're starting to get out and uh, use that, to use what we have to improve our positioning. So when we're here and I feel like he's starting to push my foot down, it's time to start to go. I'm gonna use my feet, which are already on the floor, and my hand and shoulder. I'm gonna pop up and come up to my feet again. From here, I'm gonna move you a little bit. From here, you can re-enter into your ankle lock with maybe a little bit more of a secure grip. You can enter into a different leg lock, like maybe if you're allowed to do a heel hook or something. Um, or you can start to, when he starts to come around, you can blow it off and start to set it up into different leg attacks, passes, whatever you feel like working on, or whatever complements your skill set. So this side, This is the more commonly seen side for people that are playing in a lot of IBJJF uh, related rules tournaments or uh, schools that like to compete in those tournaments. There's the other side from here that comes up a lot as well. Uh, let's say, instead of being here, I'm over here, all right? Easier to hurdle, uh, so he starts to go ahead. Same setup, and you can start to go to what you want, whether you're gonna spin into something, whether you're gonna use it for a, a different re-entry, or whether you're going to uh, use it as a pass. It's just a little bit easier. It's easier for him to escape, because it's just the knee. He's just gotta come around the knee. It's easier for me to get up, because I've got a free hand to come up with. If it's not an IBJJF tournament, which is maybe why you were in that leg configuration to start, you can start coming over and playing different material where you're reaping the leg and going into a little bit more secure landmarks. But I wasn't really sure what the question, I just know that they were losing it. A lot of times you'll lose this ankle lock to a revolving running escape or a basing out to aggressive escape. They're saying they're getting mounted. So what I want you to remember, keep the ankle laced, get up, use the fact that you have one of their legs under control to pass or segue to a, a tighter leg lock attempt or a different leg lock. Thanks so much, buddy. If you're ever in the Cleveland area, please come visit. Hey gang, thanks so much, Ante again. Uh, just wanna let you know, got a new DVD out, two disc set on escaping side control, 60 chapters, uh, over two and a half hours. It's uh, available at bjjbasics.com, amazon.com, digitsu.com, budovideos.com. So please go ahead and check it out. It's called Escaping Side Control, Real Creative.